Well, it looks like uh, we've got this next system headed our way, and again, we've got that chance for some snow back Jeez. in the forecast. Thought we had gotten rid of it, Rick. And it looks like, again, as we go through the day uh, tomorrow, we're going to be mainly dry. We're going to start the morning off with some sunshine. Clouds, though, are going to be rolling in here during the afternoon. And then we're going to be tracking that snow coming in by Friday morning. So let's get right to it and show you what's going on on the radar right now. And we are tracking dry conditions across our area. Just more cold temperatures expected here overnight tonight as readings are already down into the mid-teens across parts of the area. Some low 20s showing up. The wind is really the big story. It's not nearly as strong as it was. You can see many locations reporting either light or calm wind. That makes all the difference in the world because we're not dealing with wind chills down to zero or a little bit below zero like we had this morning. Right now, wind chills running into low to mid teens, so not too bad. Looks like temperatures here for tonight mid teens, rising to the mid 30s for tomorrow afternoon under a mostly cloudy sky. So here's our next storm system. We're watching two disturbances. We've got a lead disturbance here, one that's kind of running out ahead of the main one. This is a weak wind, should arrive Friday night. There's a chance for some light snow with that as it moves into western Maryland late tomorrow night. The bigger one, though, is coming right through the Rockies now. Now, and that's the one that's going to bring us some chances for snow coming up on Friday. The way things are looking right now, it looks like the highest totals again have made some adjustments to this forecast. The highest totals out of this event are going to be especially for places like northeast Maryland and up into, let's say, sections of northern Harford County, maybe even as far west as northern Baltimore County, where we could see some three-plus amounts, but it looks like some of the heavier totals are going to stay just across the border up into portions of southeast PA. But otherwise, a general two to three to the north of the Baltimore Beltway and out towards the west through northern Carroll County, northern Frederick County, one to two right along I-95. So. Right now, I'm thinking for Baltimore itself, about an inch and a half, max two inches of, of snowfall out of this. The farther south you get, particularly as you get down into sections of Caroline as well as Talbot County, we're looking at generally less than an inch of snowfall here. So you're not going to see a whole lot out of the system the way things look. Most of it's going to be skewed off towards the north and west. Again, this will be a nuisance snow starting during the morning rush hour, at least before that, on Friday. And then lasting as we go into the afternoon before tapering off. So, again, cloudy and cold here late tomorrow night, maybe a couple of flurries after midnight, but the snow is going to start moving in before the morning rush hour. I do expect some roads to become snow covered and a little bit slick. And then as the afternoon rolls on, we'll see probably the heaviest snow mid to late morning. And then by afternoon, the snow will start tapering off. And we may actually see some of it mix in with rain just off to the south. But then Friday night, I expect refreezing to occur. Anything that does happen to come water here on on the roadways, especially by Friday afternoon, will refreeze with crashing temperatures and gusty northwest winds. Here's a look at your forecast snowfall here. Look at all the forecast models here and look how the numbers fairly are in fair agreement here for Baltimore. About an inch to an inch and a half, maybe up to two inches in some spots. So that's what we like to look for. That agreement in the forecast models here. And again, that area of snow is going to spread its way across the area starting before the morning rush hour Friday and spread across our area throughout the afternoon before tapering off. Now, if you're heading to the Ravens game on Saturday. I want to caution you definitely want to dress appropriately for it because it's going to be cold, especially with the winds gusting out of the northwest at 10 to 20 miles an hour. Wind chills are going to be in the low teens to upper single digits through halftime into the fourth quarter, so dress appropriately for that. But it looks like hopefully we can pull off a Ravens win. All right, here's your first alert 7 8 forecast. Looks like temperatures tomorrow getting up into the mid 30s here. But then by tomorrow evening into tomorrow night, the clouds are going to roll in. We're looking at, uh, again, that chance for some snow showers moving into the area after midnight tomorrow night into Friday morning. So it will likely be snowing in parts of the area by the morning rush hour on Friday. So plan on some slick roadways for at least for a time. Temperatures for Friday afternoon only getting up to around freezing. Areas to the north and west are going to stay in the upper 20s. So we expect that snow to last throughout the day. Tapering off during the afternoon, turning breezy and colder by Friday night. And then as we go into Saturday, highs only in the mid 20s. Sunshine will return, but it is going to be cold. Wind chills down into the single digits by Friday evening, 34 for Sunday. And then by the middle of next week, we're looking at temperatures getting back into the 50s with rain in the forecast for a change. So we say goodbye to the wintry pattern and get back to something a little bit warmer, a little bit above average here, heading into the middle of next week. Rick, right back to you.